Did you know you can tell how old a horse is by looking at his teeth? Today, we're gonna go inside a bunch of horses' mouths to see how old they are. Howdy, and welcome to the Bar SC Ranch, where you will experience our journey of running a family business, caring for animals, and doing life together. Subscribe now and be inspired, here at the Bar SC. What you doing? Oh, I'm eating lunch. Can I join you? Absolutely. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't, I don't know that. What, what are you doing? I'm eating your lunch. You're eating your lunch. I, I mean, I know we're trying out this like eat more vegetables and and greens, greens types of thing, but um, you as a human, you were designed to eat things like salad, like soft salad and carrots. Your teeth are not designed to eat that. That is hay. That is hay for your horse. Oh. Today we're gonna look at why horses' teeth are designed to eat things like hay and how you can tell how old your horse is by looking at its teeth. Today we're gonna use Nelly the skeleton to show you what teeth are in the horse's mouth and then kind of show you how they chew their hay and why it's important that teeth in a horse be the way that they are. So the really cool thing about horse teeth is that they, unlike our teeth, which grow in and stop growing for the rest of our lives, horses' teeth grow continually, which means they can chew really rough grass like this. <laughs> but they actually chew it with a grinding motion that looks like this. And so um, what that means is that the horse's teeth grow at the same rate as they grind down. Um, if they do not grow at the same rate that they're, I'm sorry, if they don't grind down at the same rate that they're growing, sometimes we have to have a veterinarian come in and help to file those teeth down so that the horses always have a nice smooth surface in order to um, keep their teeth grinding perfectly. So kind of like this as they're eating. And then that will make sure that they're always getting all of the nutrients out of their feed that we need. The front teeth are called the incisors. There are six on the top and six on the bottom. The back teeth are sometimes referred to as cheek teeth and they are the premolars and the molars. So there are three premolars and three molars. Now this horse had very, very dirty teeth, but we will go look at some teeth in our horse's mouth in just a few minutes. A horse's incisors act a lot like pliers. So as grass is growing or hay is growing, the horse picks it up and actually can pull it out of the ground. A lot of times they will actually take the roots of the plant with them, which means that horses when they're grazing are a little bit less good for our soil than cows, um, which can just act more like scissors. They kind of shear the hay or the grass off of the ground, whereas horses really pluck it and pull it out. So the incisors have to be nice and strong and they're used to pluck the grass out. And then the molars back here, <laughs> are used for grinding and it's gonna make kind of a sideways just a little bit of a sideways motion like that so <laughs> the eating of really coarse hays such as the alfalfa hay that we have right here is what causes the horse's teeth to be worn down and we were saying that the teeth should wear at a pretty consistent rate. The amount that it wears down is the amount that grows in. Occasionally we have some problems where the teeth grow faster than they are filed down. And when that happens, we have a veterinarian or an equine dentist that works with a veterinarian come in and they will use tools like files and file down the portion of the teeth that are growing too fast to make them nice and smooth so that the horse doesn't um, have what's called a malocclusion or something where it can't chew and get the nutrients that it needs out of that hay. So horses have these incisors in the front and then they have these premolars and molars in the back. What is this section that's right here? 
Horses are born with this cool space in their mouth with where they don't have any teeth. This is called the bars of the mouth. It's very convenient for us who like to ride horses because um, the metal piece called the bit that's on your bridle can sit lightly in here and it just doesn't get, um, it doesn't interfere with any teeth and that is, um, that causes the horse not to have any pain when we're moving the bridle and the bit around in its mouth. So that's really kind of cool that they're born that way and we don't have to remove any teeth to make room for that bit. So horses' teeth are super interesting in how they wear down and they grow out. But did you know we can also tell how old a horse is based on what their teeth look like? So the way that we can tell how old they are is we can look at the shape of the teeth. So at what angle the tooth is coming out of the mouth and then by how long the teeth are and then also by the shape that the teeth are when you look at them from the top. And um, so we're gonna go through some of the horses that we have here on the ranch and we're gonna show you horses that are really young and horses that are really old. Um, a young horse is gonna have actually fewer incisors, so they come in at different ages and we'll talk about that in a minute. But they come in really straight up and down and really round on the top. And over time, as that horse continues to, uh, we were talking about how they reach down and they grab the grass or the hay out of the ground, um, it causes the teeth to elongate and be pulled out this way. And that changes the shape of the tooth as it wears down on the top. And then also changes the shape as when you look at it from the side, it's no longer straight up and down, it comes in like this. And then the older they get, they, have, they get a few more teeth also. They're not born with all, um, 36 teeth. So that's how we're going to go look at some of our horse's teeth and you can tell how old they are. So Alfie, being just two, does not even have all of his teeth yet. So his incisors are just starting to grow in. He's got the four front ones and then some of the next set, but not all of them. So this is Willie. Willie is about seven years old, so he's our next youngest horse. And as you can see, he's now finally got his full set. He's got six teeth on the top, and he's got all six teeth on the bottom as well. If you look at them from the side, they're still, when you look at them from the side, they're still pretty straight up and down as far as the way they're growing in. And they're still pretty small as well. So they haven't gotten much longer and elongating out quite yet. And he does not have something called a galvanous groove. So we'll show you what the galvanous groove is. It's a little groove that comes in on horses about when they turn 10 years of age. And so we'll go find a horse that's a little bit older and has one of those coming in. This is Nemo. He's uh, over nine years old. So he's approaching 10 and he is just, just now starting. I gotta wipe away his slobber. You slobbering. Are you slobbering? He is just now starting to get the galvanous groove, which is this little portion on the tooth. I am so sorry, he's very slobbery. <laughs> and notice that his teeth are just, just starting to, instead of come in straight up and down, they're starting to move, to push out just a little bit. So we can tell that he's getting a little bit older. So Dylan's 15, so his galvanous groove should be well-defined and about halfway down the tooth. He also has a couple other weird things going on in his mouth. You'll notice he's actually missing quite a few of his top teeth. And he's missing these teeth all because he tore them out on one of his feeders back when I first got him. So it was a little bit of an injury that he had. We had the vet out, he removed him the whole way, he's all good. But you can look at the side here and we'll see his little groove running right down the side of this tooth. You can see that it's down most of the way. So Dylan being 15 still has his galvanous groove, but it's also very well defined because he's well over the age of 15 or wait, well over the age of 10. But looking at him from the side, something a little weird about his mouth, you know, we're talking about the angle of the teeth and whether they're straight up and down or meeting at more, you know, close to a 90 degree angle in their old age. Dylan has what we would consider in humans as an overbite. So looking at his teeth, his top teeth actually do not quite meet up with his bottom teeth at all. They're over 
and more forward than his bottom teeth. And looking at his nose, you can see a little bit why. I really love his giant schnoz. <laughs> it's not the way that his face is supposed to look. It has to do with his teeth and that what we call in horses a parrot mouth, which is what we would refer to in humans as an overbite. So Dylan's an off-the-track thoroughbred, and one of the ways that we identify racehorses like Dylan is they'll actually put a tattoo on their upper lip with a number. So it's a letter followed by a series of numbers, and Dylan has one of those tattoos in his upper lip, and if you look it up in the Jockey Club database, you can actually find all of his racing history. And that's something they did for the thoroughbreds to help provide them with a better home um, after their racing careers because people could go in and look them up and find more information on them. It made them a lot more trackable. So fewer of them ended up in bad situations. So with Charlie, who's 26, you can see her galvanus groove is stretching actually just about to the very bottom of her teeth. And actually it is, if you feel the tooth, you can feel there's a ridge all the way to the bottom. It's just a little hard to see to the naked eye. And the galvanus groove in horses doesn't serve a purpose. And it's not caused by something that the horses are doing. It's actually just a certain portion of their tooth that as it grows down and is filed down, it appears throughout you know, a certain range of ages. So let's say they've got you know, a tooth that's about this long because like Michelle was saying, they wear down their tooth throughout their entire life. So they have a really, really long tooth. Not like ours that are short and stay with us our entire life, but a really long tooth that they're slowly wearing the end off as it grows down into their mouth. So the galvanus groove is just a section of that tooth that appears throughout the ages of about 10 to about 20 it reaches the bottom. And then after 20, it's going to start disappearing. So the tooth is gonna start growing in from the top without that groove present. So we have Josie here. Josie is over 30 years old. Her teeth are now, you can see a significant angling. They're definitely showing to be a lot older, a lot longer. Look at this bottom tooth. See how long that is? So that's what a horse, the galvanus groove is gone. Oh, it's a little bit down there, but it's going away. It's not anywhere up here. And um, she's definitely what they look like when they get a lot older. Thanks for joining us today. I hope you learned a little bit about how you can look at a horse's teeth and see what, they, what age they are. It's really important to be able to tell how old your horse is um, because if you ever want to go and buy one or um, if somebody tells you a horse is a certain age, you want to make sure you can verify that, you know, within a couple years. And um, so we hope you learned how to do that and that you had some fun with us. If you enjoy this video, we'd love to hear from you. Like and subscribe and leave a comment about what you might like to see in future videos. We'll see you back on the ranch.